Yes, Digital Pro family. Hope you guys are well. Guys, we're back again with another one, a coloring page one. This is the one. Check it out, guys. Remember, um, in one of my last videos, I did I gave you some fantastic mock-up tips for coloring pages. Um, and I did say I would probably do one on like how to make, let's say, for example, let me just show you now. Um, the main image listing. So the main image listing, remember, I, check out the playlist where I spoke about this, but literally the main image listing should have a colored version to show the customer. Also makes it stand out so that you can get those conversions. And on the side, you'll have examples of the pages and then maybe how many you're gonna have. So what I'm trying to say is very important to have one page that is colored in. Now, some of you did ask is how do we get the page colored in? So let's say like I've got my, um, I looked and did my research and obviously I'm doing, let's say, ghost coloring pages. The other thing is, if you look at my last video, I spoke about how to actually identify and reverse engineer really good, if you like, sub niches within coloring pages that are unsaturated so that when you actually want to create something, you want to create something that there's not much competition or not as much competition out there so that you're able to rank and sell. And um, when I did my research last time, ghost coloring was something that was in demand, all right? And there was good volume for it, and it's not saturated. So I'm on mid-journey right now, and I'm just playing around doing a few different pages for ghosts. But I want to actually show you, let's say, um, how to get, let's say, an image colored in. Um, so I'm just going to just very quickly, really quickly, just show you. Let's say you've got your colored pages, right? Um, I don't know. It depends. Let's say you're, you've got your pages on um, on Canva. I mean, this is one that I've done earlier. So I've got all my different pages for these, uh, if you like, uh, um, pumpkin, Halloween images, right? This, this one's in a gray scale. Obviously, you can do a very light style without the gray. Um, but like I said, going back to uh, Mid Journey, like I've identified some uh, ones that are, that are pretty cool that I could use. So what I did was I downloaded one of the images so that I can, let's say, show how it would look like colored in. Now, if to do this is probably the best software to do this, really. I mean, you know, it's possible to do it mid-journey, but it's not going to be great. It's not going to be exact because it's hard to get the colored version of the blank one. I mean, it can be done, but it's, it's not easy. So my suggestion is, this is my advice, is I think for me, Photoshop is probably the best thing to use. Photoshop is the gold standard of um, of designing software. Um, again, Canva wouldn't be as good as this. But you could try to do it, but it won't be as good and it won't be as accurate. Um, so I definitely think in terms of for this kind of job, um, Photoshop is fantastic. So let's say I've gone on to Photoshop now. Remember, all the links in my description for everything that I do use. And then I'm just going to click on that coloring page that I just produced and click on open. Okay. I'm just going to open it up right now. You're going to see it on, on Photoshop. So let's say I want to sell this page. Obviously, make sure that the page is the right, say, a page size, which is 8.5 by 11 inches usually. Um, that's that's the usual size for coloring pages, right? Just, just so you know. But in this case, what I'm doing is I'm just going to look at the blank page and, and a colored version of it. So simply how I would do this is um, I would just go to something called the magic wand, right? Remember, um, you could do this with different softwares, but for me, the best type is probably Photoshop. Now, how I would do this is I would identify different things. So in this case, I'm going to use a magic wand. I went on the right and I'll click on a pumpkin, right? And uh, click shift because I'm basically, I want to color in all the pumpkin right i want to color in the pumpkin now i can always go to the tolerance as well so what you have is tolerance here actually let me go let me go to 100 let me zoom in because sometimes it's good to see what you're doing right so what i'll do is it's literally i'm a, i'm selecting i'm selecting all the areas that i want to color in okay just just this is the first thing that's what you do with photoshop right and in fact if i want to because that's a pumpkin as well i could do this as well which makes my life easier 
So I'll go there. Right. I can select all the pumpkins really if I really want to. But let's say I go with this, and then what I do, I go to the brush tool. Nice soft round brush. Can do a bigger size, fine. And then go to the color palette. Obviously, I want a nice like uh, orange. Right? And then literally all I need to do is I just need to brush this. Give it a nice brush. I didn't select that bit. Right? Now don't forget you can obviously make it make it darker, give it that bit more texture. Look at that. Sh darker along the bottom, bit of shade, look at that. Yeah. Yeah, just to give that shadow effect. I missed out that bit the minor. Needs to be more orangey, doesn't it really? Yeah, why is it yellow? <laughs> Did it like more? I need it to be more orangey, right? But that's what I'm saying to you guys. You know, it's 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 really cool with this brush. Look at that. Get that darker edge to it. Maybe a bit darker still. Look at that. Mm. Give it some uh, some depth. Yeah. So really, that's what you do. I didn't select that one. I forgot this one as well. Let me click. Yeah, there you go. Yep, go back to my brush. There you go. Okay, control minus. So what I'm doing is I'm literally slowly going to brush this. All right. Uh, let me go select, deselect. Select, deselect. Can you see that? What do you think? It looks pre pretty cool, right? And that's, and that's what I would do. I missed that a little bit out there. And that's really how you would do it. You'd actually get something. Let me just do another part so you you see what I'm talking about. Let me go with background. I like I want to do like a like a blue background. Click the background. Yep. I'm going to do like a bluish hue to it. Again, I'm going to go light. Maybe there. I'm going to probably choose a bigger brush. Let me go to this brush size. You know, these are these are the sizes of the brushes and this is the hardness. And you can get really like cool soft ones. I'm gonna go bigger because this is massive. Yeah. Okay. Get this like a nice cool background. What's nice about the selection is that you know it's just really easy. And you just select what it is that you want. So, you know, this 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 is really the best way to be able to show. I mean, ghost. So, what am I going to color the ghost in? Select, deselect, right? And then, um, obviously, you got the green elements. Um, da, da 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 da. Go back. I mean, this is what I'm trying to say, guys. Is that you know the the this this uh photoshop is probably the best it's the gold standard to be able to do this and and you know you want to be able to you want the quality to be good and and so i think it's important so going to the green because obviously that's a kind of green style there we go it's a bit too light though isn't it there you go right and then what are these these pumpkins i don't know what's going on i'm going to do pumpkin color anyways I want to be as quick as I can, but you know, this is what I'm trying to say. Like, um, the thing about using this is that, you know, the quality, you know, what's going to be. And, um, also, you know, I think, uh, it's definitely worth the money with Photoshop because you can do so many different things. This is not just about coloring pages. This is about actually having a, a, a really good quality, um, software. That you can de design with i mean you know unfortunately with with what we do with digital products you do need a few different softwares 
to be able to actually do what you need to do. Oh, no, can I just do it like that? Yeah, I kind of colored in a bit of that as well. <laughs> Minor. Now let's do the ghost. What am I going to do with the ghost? Oh, God. Okay, let's try it. This one. Select, deselect. I'm trying to be, I'm rushing it a little bit, but you know what? I ain't looking too shabby still. I lie. <laughs> uh what am i gonna do with that color come on help me out guys i'll do that one as well okay maybe a bit of red is that gonna work who knows all right let's try this out all right yeah let's try this out nice little color forgot to do that bit you know it's what's nice is it's quickly choose it selection boom there you go right and I, I that's it i don't think i need to do much i mean the stars as well probably need a little bit of work uh yeah let's do the stars right let's do the stars okay like some bright yellow um where's my brush Let's do the brush. There you go. Boom. Okay. And then maybe give the ghost a kind of grayish. Let me do the ghost quickly because the, the ghost can't be just white, can it? Uh, even though ghosts are white. What am I talking about? The ghosts are white. But I'm just going to give it a bit of flavor. Yeah. Give the ghost a bit of flavor. Okay, let me see. How's that going to look? Yeah, give it a bit of flavor. Oh, I didn't do that bit, did I? Yeah, I'll do that one quickly. How's that? Okay, that should do. All right, that's it. All right, select, deselect boom now obviously i can do a bit more than that let me go to png export it as a png boom like i said the, um go to my downloads what let me change the name no let me call it ghost because it's no i'm calling it ghost All right, call it ghost. Save it. Boom. That's my downloadable. So what I would do, right? This is what I would do. Let's get back. So obviously this is my uh, original image which I downloaded. I'll probably go to Canva. Well, I would go to Canva. Um Right, so let's say, you know, you want to obviously, the idea is, right, your idea is, is you need to, um, you're trying to create something where you show an example of what is produced, you know, like this case and this case, which are fantastic examples, something which is colored in and other, your other images on the side. That's all you need to, as your main image, that's very important, okay, as your main image. Let me just go very quickly to Canva. So obviously on your listing, you would probably want to upload uh, the color version, which will sit on the side, possibly this one. Right. Um, so you'd want to have that somewhere there. Obviously, like I said, the, the size of this actual page isn't absolutely correct because it obviously has to be a certain size. But let's say you got your image. You want to show what it looks like. 
All right? You just want to show what it looks like. And then you, on your listing, you'd have your other pages, similar to sort of this style, where you have your main one, have that. You might even want to put in, like, if you can see that background, there's, it's not just a plain background. It has, a like, a table background. So me personally, I'll probably put, like, a table in there. Um, so I'd probably say, let me go to elements. I'll do it now quickly for you. Table. I'd say wooden. You know, you could you could choose something like this, or it could be a lighter color. There's loads of different types, especially on Canva, right? And this one just doesn't matter how much it takes up space. Layer, send it to back. All right. Then you got your you got your main image, and then what you'd want to do, obviously, you'd have your other images. So you might go to upload. Uh, let's say I've got the the plain version, obviously which is this one, which is there. So you want to show what it looks like. Remember, like I said, this, this the size is not actually quite accurate. This one, it should be uh, more in that sort of ilk, right? So, but there's just a demo just to show you when you get your pages, when you're laying it out. So you just want to, like, obviously this will be slightly bigger so you can see what you're doing. You want to show all the different pages that you'd have. It's good to see how it looks like colored. You've got to have a colored version. Like I said, this is me just doing it in like five minutes. Imagine, you know, you could spend a little bit of time just making sure everything looks great. But let me just do more like this one. So I just say like you've got another version. You've got another, I guess, example of a, of a coloring page here. You know, just lay it out. Try and get obviously the similar um, size. You want to get it similar size. So I have a few different examples of your page and just lay them out. Do you know what I'm saying? Just lay them out so that the customer can see on the main image, maybe three, four, five. Of what what will be inside the page. Right. Just try and get the size about right. Give them example. Um, and then obviously the main bit is just to make sure that you've got... Um, I just get a circle really as a shape doesn't really matter because you can color that in I'll definitely have the name as well so what I'll do is personally is I'll definitely have the name I'm going to do a couple of just bits here let me just put spooky pages. Okay, I'll just use the style. Um, Make that in black. Call that spooky pages. Right, that's a name. Um, what else did I want to add? I wanted to add something else. Let's just, let's just look at those examples. There you go. How many I'm going to have in there? Yep, yeah, that's it. It's just a number. They got 24 coloring pages. I'm going to say 100. Boom. Ready. So let me go back to Canva. Um, let me just type in 100. Do it on a heading. Go 
color black so it stands out and I will do this smaller okay simple where am I oops sorry ah I know what I want to add I want to add something else I wanted to add one more thing. Now, listen, this is me doing it very quickly. I probably need to spend a little bit more time. I like to make things look really cool. But in terms of the elements, I'm talking about what elements to include. This is pretty much it, what I would include. Check out, remember, check out my other videos. I've got some really f amazing tips on there as well. Um, I'll add another element because I really like just to really show off. Don't forget to do a video as well. I spoke about doing a video for your um, listing as well. Um, coloring pencils. Coloring pencils definitely need these ones. Look at this. Boom. Hmm. Not sure about that one. My, nah, I don't like these ones. Let's just see all of these photo ones. Da -da 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 Let's see these. How do these look? Could look all right. Nah, I think I'll stick to that one. These look okay. Possibly. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, might need a little bit of working on. Not sure if that the coloring pages look great. Anyways, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'd do. Let me put this there. Sometimes it just just needs to play around with the positioning it really sometimes just needs that little bit of uh, of work to see how it works for you just just test out see what looks good but in essence you know you're talking about what elements you need to include so the elements are you need to have that examples word name to attract them um, how many you're gonna get and then uh, maybe just make it look really cool in background that's it download it put it up on your listing guys and that's your main image simple as that make sure it looks and this is what i'm saying look at that color look at that color i mean this is like five minutes i'll probably spend you know more than more time just to make it look really really good but you know when you're looking at pages of coloring pages that are like this right not as much color you want to be able to, you can stand out from these you know coloring page listings that's what you want to do you want to stand out with all that color and that's how you get your conversion guys and that's it don't forget you got to check out my playlist right check out my playlist if you like the video hit the like subscribe smash that notification bell check out my playlist check out my links in my description let's go see you in the next one